Warning, there are hazardous voltages associated with the installation of these products, which can cause death, serious injury, or property damage. Turn off power before working on this equipment. Only qualified employees can work on electrical equipment. When working near energized equipment, please wear PPE as specified in NFPA 70E. This video shows the installation for a Tia Star 125 amp Centron handle, but the basic installation applies to many other Tia Star Siemens MCC handles. The handle assembly kit comes with handle assembly and mounting hardware and an installation guide. To begin, remove the two screws attaching the linkage assembly to the handle assembly. Next, remove the handle assembly from the unit top plate and handle bracket. Do this by removing the three screws holding the handle assembly in place. Lift the handle out of the unit. To remove the linkage assembly, unscrew the two screws holding the assembly to the back plate. Lift the assembly out of the unit. To install the new handle, start by aligning the linkage assembly with its mounting screw holes on the back plate as shown. Align the bent locating feature of the mounting piece of the assembly with the slot in the back plate. Make sure the fingers of the breaker operator are set around the breaker handle as shown. Screw the linkage bracket to the back plate. Assemble the handle and linkage system. When installing the handle assembly in the unit, make sure the top of the linkage arm is inserted into the slot in the top plate before the handle is screwed in place. Fasten the handle to the top plate and handle bracket using the three provided screws. The handle linkage assembly must then be attached to the breaker operator. The length of the rod attached to the breaker operator may need to be adjusted to align the screw holes. Twist the turnbuckle to adjust the length, and then fasten the arm to the linkage with the provided screws. Before making any adjustments to the handle, remove the unit from the motor control center or put it in the test position. The handle is properly adjusted if moving the handle from the off to the on position switches the breaker into the on position. Note that in order to perform this operation while the unit is removed from the motor control center, the handle door interlock lever on the right side of the handle assembly must be held down while the handle is flipped. Tripping the breaker should send the handle into a neutral position between on and off. Moving the handle from the neutral position to the off position should reset the breaker. If the handle will not move into the on position, the length of the linkage rod is too long and must be shortened. Rotate the turnbuckle counterclockwise to shorten the rod and move the handle up towards the on position. If the handle will not switch the breaker to the on position and will not move fully into the off position, the length of the connecting rod is too short and must be lengthened. Rotate the turnbuckle clockwise to lengthen the rod until the switch is properly adjusted. Lengthen or shorten the rod until the handle is functioning properly. Once the rod is at the correct length, tighten down the lock nut against the turnbuckle. This is how a properly functioning handle should behave. The handle door interlock lever must be held down while testing the trip function of the breaker. If the lever is not held down, the handle will not fall into the trip position properly.